Hey everyone, Anthony here, and unfortunately one of my monitors has uh, stopped working today. Uh, when I press the power on button, the LED flashes orange for about half a second and then turns off. And it's probably going to be a bad capacitor, so we'll take it apart and see what's up with it. So as you can see inside, we have a bunch of different connectors. This one goes to the actual display. This one goes to the front panel with the buttons. We have another one here for the speaker that's on the front. And this one should be the power for the monitor. All right, so I've taken the board out of its enclosure and right away I noticed there's two capacitors that have bulged right here. These are Suscon capacitors. They're rated at 470 microfarads at 16 volts. So it should be a fairly simple fix if it's just those two. The other ones seem fine, so I'm not gonna replace them. And there's a couple little ones here that also look fine. So I'm not gonna change those. I'm just gonna change these two here and we'll see if the monitor works. All right, so it's a couple days later. I had to order the parts on DigiKey. But I ended up with these. They are from United Chemicon, so they should be much better than the caps that failed. And they're the same specs, 470 microfarads at 16 volts. I also went ahead and ordered the two different capacitors that didn't fail on the LED driver circuit. Just in case they failed, but they didn't show signs of bulging. Could definitely happen, but for now, I'm just going to change the two in the middle, and we'll see if it works. Alright, so my battery died during the last clip, but I soldered these two caps in and reassembled the uh, little board into its little tray. And next we'll connect these connectors and see if the monitor works. Alright, we're pretty much at home stretch here. I've got all the connectors connected back to the uh, board. Hoping all these are connected all the way down. I think they are, but we're gonna just give it a test power up and see if it fixed it. All right, so those two capacitors seem to have fixed it, but I gotta put Acer on the wall of shame for using really cheap capacitors. You know, I'm sure tons and tons of these monitors are sitting in landfills, and it's all because of these little cost-saving measures to save a few cents here and there. You know, it'd be a lot better if they would just use good quality parts from the factory. Anyways, until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.